welcome to Carl Newman's school BBC school news report. I'm Maddie. I'm Snea and we will be reporting events and weather around our school today. We will, we will be talking a lot about charity events happening at our school, such as the Year 9 Cake Sale for all students, the Big Sleep Hour happening on the 23rd of March and the Year 9 Vaccination. We will also be focusing on current events such as the death of St Stephen Hawking and they will be fo uh, also focusing on the travel and local weather forecasts. Over to the, over to the Roman report. At the start of the year, as head of, of Year 10, I noticed that there were a few issues of students being bullied and who are afraid to report anything to a member of staff for fear of reprisal. So I had a meeting with a number of students from, who ranged from all different year groups. So I think I, I ended up getting 18 students who attended a meeting and spoke with them about how we should deal with bullying in the school. A lot of students are really frightened to come forward and they don't want to put suggestions into boxes outside of um, year offices because they're afraid that someone might see what they've written. The, 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 the silence that bullying gives people, they don't want to open it up, they don't want to speak about it. And this isn't just physical and mental bullying, this is also cyber bullying. This is things that some children don't even realise is bullying. So the, the email address is also a forum for people to ask for help and the help is available in the school. The unfortunate thing is students don't report it for fear of reprisal and we want to break that cycle. What's your role at Cardinal Newman? I am an assistant head here at Cardinal Newman, first and foremost I'm an RE teacher but then as assistant head I look after admissions and transitions so new children coming into school. I um, also look after the Catholic life of the school and I um, run, help and support um, Year 7 and 8 and some other departments. So if you take GCSE drama in year 10, you take 30% of the GCSE, which is a divided drama unit. You create your own piece of drama from a stimulus. You have to do everything, costume, sound, lighting, um, make up the characters. Everything is all about you and your own process. So that's what year 8 are working towards and exploring at the moment. We've got some students doing the Hillsborough Disaster. We've got some students doing um, Coventry Blitz. So there's all different stimuli that people are looking at. And then in year nine at the moment, they're studying Blood Brothers. They're doing a performance of Blood Brothers and then they're going to be working on a physical theatre piece that they'll be um, performing at the Belgrade. Now, a reason why drama is such an excellent option to take is it teaches you lots of versatile skills that you can use in all different subjects. Something that looks really great on your CV when you go for a job is drama. Welcome to the Card Numa School Weather Report. Today I'll be telling you about the weather today and, and I hope you people sitting down and listening will be enjoying it. Here at Coventry, the weather throughout the day will be mostly cloudy with a slight chance of rain. So, watch out for those puddles. Yellow warnings of rain in Northern Ireland. Strong southeast, strong southeast winds will, will bring a, a period of heavy rain Thursday evening and Friday morning. Floodings of homes and business in po is possible. Be prepared for long journeys and some disruptions to public transport. Sadly, the, s the southeast winds may also prove to be a hazard, affecting high sided vehicles. Snow and ice warnings in Scotland, England and Wales. So if you like to make snowman, this is your week. Over to the Roman reporters. Okay, 
Okay, so here at Cardinal Newman, we always work really hard during Advent and Lent. At the moment it's Lent, so we're working on our charity events to raise as much money as we can for the homeless uh, and for those who are less fortunate than us in Coventry. We have already collected over 500 Easter eggs for children who otherwise wouldn't get one. We've had lots of cake sales and we're going to have a really big sleep out next Friday to raise as much money as we can for the homeless. So students in our school and staff are going to come along and sleep on the playground underneath the stars to try and see just what it's like just for one night what it would be like to be homeless. Well we recently celebrated World Book Day so we had lots going on in the library. I was dressed as Mary Poppins um, so there was competitions and events and so on and so forth but today is a really exciting day in the world of books. Um, it's the Carnegie Shortlist which is kind of the most prestigious book award there is. All the authors want to win it. Um, has been announced, the shortlist has been announced. So I've just been going through the eight shortlisted titles and I will be getting them into the library and we will be shadowing the books and the awards and reading them as part of the group at Book Club. I hope you have enjoyed Cardinal Newman BBC News Report. Thanks for watching.